Papa Day Sports fans, time for another round of PNC Sports First. Leo Paimo, your Guam sports guy here. And starting off, girls high school volleyball quarterfinals. This was two nights ago over at the St. John's High School in Upper Tumont. St. John's seed four hosting George Washington, seed five. And the Knights would come out on fire in set one while the Gecko's a bit sluggish. Tylee Shepard serving GW's dig goes into the net. Point St. John's. That'd make it 20 to 4. Knights, what a lead. Now it's senior Hallie Wigston with a wicked shot for another point. And it's going to be Wigston again sending down another hard slam. It's going to be 22 to 5. Knights, Gecko Aubrey Chargalov serving now. And it's going to be number 20, Wigston again. Watch it right here with another. Power slam and then Knights number one, April Kim, will finish off the set with this serve off the top of the net that drops in. GW would come back though in the second set. Gecko blockers right here put a stifle on Wigston's kill shot coming up right here. Take a look at it. Good shot. Now it's GW's number 20, Elisa Joseph, with a serve that the Knights can't handle. Geckos with the second set point, 24-18. And now it's going to be Gecko senior Chargalov again. She'll finish off the second set with this killer shot. Gecko's bouncing back now to the third set. And Wiggins doing it again, the senior in full rhythm, making it 22-20 Knights. GW's Bree Chargalov with a Kill shot will bring GW back to within one, 22-21. But Wiggins right back with another power slam. Too much for the Geckos as the St. John Knights win this quarterfinals in four sets and now advance to the semifinals to meet up with the JFK Islanders this coming Friday night. Guam. My name is Siobhan Jacobs. I'm the QB from the Guam Panthers, and I'm a junior, and I'm from the village of Talapofo. Describe yourself in three words. Dedicated, motivated, and competitive. Who's your favorite sport personality? Odo Beckham Jr. What do you like about the sport that you're playing? Definitely the energy coming into a game and preparing for a game. Do you have a signature move? And what do you call it? I usually just throw up a peace sign whenever I throw a football or like whenever I throw a pass or a touchdown. Name the top person that gave you advice in the sport that you're playing now. My own dad, assistant coach. Who's your favorite sports team? The LSU Tigers football team. And because they're kind of like our team, they'll design the run to open up the pass. How do you prepare yourself before a game? I usually just hydrate all day. Make sure I get my pregame meals and make sure I get some rest before a game. What is your most memorable game or sports experience? The Southern Cowboys in our 2014 championship game against the All Island Saints. How do you handle winning or losing a game? Winning, I usually celebrate with my friends, with my teammates after the game. And then for losing, I usually go home and I go over the film and see what I can improve on for the next game. Do you have a second sport? Basketball. What do you do in the off season? I train off season all year long for football. Try to study and get my grades together so I can have good grades for the season. What is your advice to up and coming athletes? Just come out every day and practice. Give it your all because that's you practice how you play. Um, make sure you're competitive, stay humble, stay on your toes, be ready for anything to happen. Any type of barbecue, red, Chris Brown. <laughs> Heat by Chris Brown, Apple. 42, about Jackie Robinson, Chris Brown. Style from Forever 21, third oldest brother, Rashawn. My own house, <laughs> or GPO. Fast is brought to you by Community First Guam Federal Credit Union. And that's a wrap on your Thursday sports for PNC Sports First. I'm Leo Payumo, your Guam sports guy.